I'm bored and I have a test to study for this week so that means I'm baking and because I thought it would be fun I thought I'd show you how to make some really awesome donuts that I love I will put the full link to the recipe down in the description below but in the meantime I guess I can show you how I make some donuts first bit of warning I got this recipe from the BBC website so they are in metric units and so at least for me I find it easiest to use this kitchen scale um, to measure out things like grams and stuff. Um, there are a lot of conversions online though, so you can use that as well. We're going to need 250 grams of flour. Then we need three and a half grams of yeast. I tend to use this that it's just kind of in a jar, um, but packets work well. Unfortunately, the scale is not the most accurate, so I'm guessing. Then we need 50 grams of sugar. and a tiny sprinkling of salt. And then we mix it up. We also need 150 milliliters of milk and about half a stick of butter warmed. So I'm kind of just going to combine them a little bit and heat it up. Probably not right, but who cares. I also need two egg yolks. Ooh, that one's not gonna be a good one. Technically, we're supposed to beat this in a separate bowl, but, um, whoops, I don't care. Ooh, that butter is not melted. So you mix this together, and then when that bit seems mixed, it actually suggests bringing together the rest of the dry stuff with a knife. Uh, it says a cutlery knife. I don't know what the difference is between a cutlery knife and any other normal type of kitchen knife, so kitchen knife it is. Now that you've mixed it together, it says to let it stand for about 10 minutes, which I'm going to use as to mean eat your dinner. Alright, next step is to oil the working surface. Um, I'm using my cutting board because it has little grooves in case there's lots of extra oil and I'd rather it get there than all over my floors. And just kind of knead it for about 5 minutes and then you put it back in the bowl that it was in that's hopefully well oiled and then you let it rise for about an hour-ish, two hours something.
dough has now risen some, so we're gonna give it another quick knead and then roll it into walnut sized balls. I mean, like a round ping pong ball size, but I have made bigger ones and they work just as well. And then you lay them out on a cookie sheet or I'm gonna use some extra plates as well since I don't have that many cookie sheets. And you let rise for another half an hour. So the next part is kind of the fun bit. You take the donuts that you now have and you put it in some melted butter to get it soft and wet and then you roll it in some butter and then you attempt to inject it with jam. It mostly ends up making it look like you murdered somebody with your hand that has jam all over it now. Here comes the fun part And the fun I'm in messy This is working out surprisingly better than it did last night. Or Sunday. Ah, oh, oh, and as soon as I spoke. Shouldn't have done that. Don't talk while. Don't editing. I also don't think this thing is working properly. I think you're supposed to be able to hit this lever. But I seem to have to reach all the way back for this one. Ah! That one's just blatantly jam coated donut. Not too bad. And the most important part, you eat it. Mm -hmm. If any of you have any recipes that are easy and fun, let me know down in the comments below. Until then, if you happen to make these, let me know how they turn out. Alan Z.